Hey guys, uh, I don't know about you, I was trying to farm some high mountain rep for my rogue, on my rogue. Um, I've seen a lot of guides for demon hunters, I've seen a lot of guides for monks, uh, nothing for the rogue, so I'm going to show you in case you guys love to rogue it up like I do. Uh, for farming high mountain rep, of course. Uh, your best place to go is always world quest, and hope you get the uh, world quest emissary cash, but... The second to that is the Kirin Tor Emissary Cache. And if you, you know, if you're like me and you've been farming it day in, day out, first thing you want to do is uh, shadow step to him, jump over to this mountain. And I'll skip you past this wall right here. No doubt it has something to do with the latent power still in the world. I hope our allies can keep their main forces occupied long enough. It's pretty easy. I mean, I'm doing it on a 114. You could, I was, I started doing it at 112, so I'm, I'm sure you could do it. There's only one boss that gives High Mountain Rep, so the trick is to farm him as quick as you can. The Under King uses slaves to dig at the bones of my father. hiding your food, not maggot. Please, you've already taken all the food we have. Search everywhere. These peasants have been hiding rations from the army. If you're not fighting, you're not eating! Let's try to skip through as quick as we can. That's the, you know, point of speed farming. I think I got it down to like six minutes, I think. And that's on a 114, so I'm certain if you were like 120 or whatever, you could do it a lot faster. But this is just the route that I have to take, because... I don't want to re-farm on my demon hunter or my monk. No, I did all the quests with my rogue. Uh, I didn't want to grind somebody out to revere it again. Shadow step him. Gets us through that barrier. And now we're coming up to... Naraxis, which is the one boss that gives us high mountain rep. So even at 112, um, it was still it was still possible. The trick was to outlast before he devours you. Wait, no! I'm just trying to keep my hit points high. For the devour. Spike tongue, that's what we're worried about. Uh, poison kill him. There we go. <laughs> A little closer than it normally is, but I'm sorry, It appears the treasure you seek will be that's fine. the other end of this beast. No, wins a win, so. We're just gonna skip past all these ads. The door out's right up there, so. You don't even need to fight this boss. Witness the fate of those who stand against one worthy. I am sorry, heroes. I must leave you now. Just gonna take a right and head right up this little walkway, and right out the door. I should have started with my uh, rupture rather than hitting him with an end venom, but whatever. I don't mind doing it on a 114 considering I still get to use my legendary. So the first thing out the door is uh, reset all instances, so don't forget to do that. If you go back into the dungeon, you're going to pick up at the last boss you killed. Sometimes it'll be at the very first boss again because we didn't kill them. 
So we're going to fly around this way. I'm just going to head back up and head back in. I'm going to head right up between these two mountains. I'm still no world quests. And there's the entrance to the dungeon once again. So hopefully you enjoyed this and it helps you. Uh, tell me what you think. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the comments. Um, keep on keeping on and be safe out there.